Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Main Skill. So today what we are on with is we are going to be getting in some more of the sheep. So we're going to be fetching them in, ready for lambing. So we've just got the shed ready. We've emptied it out. It had a bit of all sorts in there from machinery to shelving to everything for the shop. There's all sorts in there. So we've had a big clean out, big empty out, and now we're ready to go. But once again, thank you for watching. I'm glad you're here. Keep watching them and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'll see how many we can get. So keep watching them. So we're going to go down to the shed now and we're going to bed it up with the straw chopper. So I'll show you that first. I've never actually shown you the straw chopper before. So we fetched it back from the other farm and here we go. I'll go and go to it now. So I'm here at the shed now. So he's just jumped in the tractor behind me. So what we do is we shut the gate at the top here at the top of the passageway and shut one across the bottom as well. And then once they're shut, the sheep have the inside of the building and this outside passageway. So here we go, I'm down at Ravensworth now. So, me, Ian and Rob are here, so we've got a vehicle apiece, me and Ian to cart them. Rob's here, he's fetched the race down. We've got a bit of a pen here. We didn't really need the race, so we just got the hurdles off it. Rob's just gone now with his dog. So he sent the dog across there to find the sheep. I'm going to send the drone up, see if I can find them first though. So here we go. <laughs>
So that's it, I'm loaded. The wagon's here now. So Ian's here on the wagon, Rob's just un undoing it there. So we're getting another load now. Shadow over him there. So we're taking these back to Mainsgill. So I'm loaded, Ian's about to be loaded and we'll show you unloading him at the other end. We'll show you the shed fill. So what I forgot to say is though, when I was loading them sheep, you might have been able to see that when me and Rob were doing them, we were trying to hold some of them back and put some of them on. So what it is, is in them sheep, what we do is when we top them, we have four different cycles in the sheep. So the cycle, when we put the tops with them, so we have the yellow one first, so we put the yellow crayon on the tops, then we have the green crayon, then we have the red crayon and then we have the blue crayon. So what you do is you put them crayons on and them colours so then they overlap each other. So your green colour will go over the top of the yellow and you'll not be able to see it so it'll cover it up. So you know the darker the colour on there, the further on in the lambing season they're going to be. So what it is, is when we're doing them, we only want the yellows and greens to go in the shed. Because we don't need the reds yet and we don't need the blues because... The further away from lambing they're going to take up room and if they do come inside they're going to get fed hard like the rest of them and the lambs are going to get too big inside and cause problems so they want leaving outside for time being so that is why when you're watching you might be able to see that we're just putting the yellows and the greens in we have got most of the yellows in already there's just a few left out so there's just a few of them and then the rest of them will be green so that's what you'll see and uh, that's that's what we're doing okay so here we go we're back now to the farm. So we've got them here. So these are the first ones here. These are the first group that I've got. I'm not sure how many I've got on here, but we'll count them off now in a second. We'll see if they'll be happier in here. There we go. So there they go, like that, and into here. So they're going to be a lot happier in here. It's warm today, but it's meant to snow tomorrow, so they'll be happy in here. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking we've got one with a red mark on it there. So what it is, is like I said, we only want the yellows and the greens really. But that one there, she's a bit of a thinner sheep, a bit of an older sheep, so she can come in and she can get fed a bit more. Rather than being out in the snow, she'll be better in here, it'll be better for her. So that's why we've let her come. So she's a lucky one, but she needs the help really. That's why we fetched her in here, just to give her that bit extra feed and a bit nicer weather. So there we go. So that's another two done. Ian's there in the wagon in front, so we're going to go and get some more. Aren't we, pup? So we're going to go and get some more. There should be, if we're right, 66 left. So another trip each. And then we'll just go back for the last few. So, good, good. So, if you see here, we were just going to get the trailer ready for loading on this side of the bridge. And we're having a bit of a nightmare. Or should I say, Rob's having a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> so we just walked past and the sheep didn't see Rob's dog. So just give it a bit of a jump. And it jumped straight over the bridge into this field. So here we are. Oh, here Rob is on the other side of the river trying to get her. Come on, Rob. Yeah, come here, fam. <laughs> come back. Go falling river. No, no. Not be able to use it on YouTube. I'll have to send it to you in front. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we'll stay here, Jet. He looks like he's got it under control. There's not a deep hole there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, lady. Get out, Jet. Hey. Come on, time to go back. 
So I thought I'd better just finish off by showing you that the sheep are all in, they're all happy. So we've got them all in now. So we actually got all them twins in that I showed you and we actually went and got some singles as well. So I'm gonna show you them. So if we just go down here into the shed, you can see we've put a load of fodder beet down here for them now as well. So I'll keep them happy, the fodder beet. We've had some U rolls. We come round the corner. You can see we're full up with sheep. So there's a few in here now, there's 300 in here in this building. So we all seem happy. So they've got the silage, well, they've got the hay in the ring feeders, they've got the molasses feeders in here, so the lick balls that I've seen shown you before, and they've also got all the fodder beat outside, so they've got plenty to go at. So it'll keep them happy and they're definitely going to be a lot happier in here now because it's meant to snow tomorrow so this will keep them dry tomorrow so it should be happy there we go good job they're all in <laughs>